This is a quick review on oxygen delivery devices. Make sure that you aim for normal sats, which is a normal person, it would be like 97 to 99 percent. And make sure it's normal for them. An older person may be 94 to 97 percent. In a patient that has COPD and relies on hypoxia rather than a high CO2 drive for respirations, then 88 to 92 percent may be acceptable. Nasal cannula is used for lower levels of supplemental oxygen. One liter is about 24% oxygen, while six liters is approximately 44%. And this is simple. It can be used continuously with meals, drinks, and activity. The flow rates in excess of four liters could cause some drying and irritation. May need to add humidification to avoid the nasal membranes from drying. And the depth and rate of breathing affect the amount of the oxygen that reaches the lungs. A simple mask is low to medium concentrations of O2. A patient would exhale through the ports on the sides of the mask. It should not be used for controlled oxygen levels. If a SAT is less than 92% and they are on a nasal cannula at 6 or higher and it doesn't seem to be working, then it would be appropriate to go to a simple mask. Now the mask can cause skin breakdown and they do have to remove it to eat. The higher the flow rate, the higher the oxygen delivery. So when the flow rate is increased, the air is mixed in the mask and the patient could receive 35 to 50% depending on the flow rate. O2 flow rate is like 6 to 12 liters. The increased air that is added essentially dilutes the oxygen that is inhaled. A partial rebreather mask is short-term management. It consists of a mask with exhalation ports and a reservoir bag. The reservoir bag must be inflated prior to putting the mask on the patient. The patient can inhale gas from the mask, the bag, and the exhalation ports. It's poorly fitting and it has to be removed to eat. This is essentially a non-rebreather mask with both one-way valves removed from the mask. The estimated FiO2 is 60 to 65 percent and the flow rate should be set at 10 to 15 liters per minute. A non-rebreather mask is also not a long-term management. This is a short-term emergency management. Remember to inflate the reservoir bag first and use at least 15 liters flow of oxygen in the bag and it must be tight fitting to draw oxygen from the bag. And all three one-way valves are on the mask to prevent air entrapment. The bag acts as a reservoir for oxygen and therefore allows the device to provide higher FO2 to the patient. It has a reservoir of oxygen that allows the patient to breathe from. Make sure the valves are open during expiration, closed during inhalation to prevent a decrease in oxygen. Both partial rebreather and non-rebreather masks should be watched closely as they may require additional intervention such as a CPAP, BiPAP, or intubation. A face tent is also known as a face shield. This is well tolerated by children than a face mask or people who feel claustrophobic. Up to 40% of oxygen can be delivered with 10 to 15 liters of oxygen flow. A Venturi mask is the most reliable and accurate method for delivering a precise oxygen concentration. The excess gas leaves by exhalation ports, can cause skin breakdown, and they must remove to eat. This mask is ideal for patients who are in respiratory distress with high total volumes or high respiratory rate to guarantee a certain amount of oxygen. If nasal cannula does not provide adequate concentrations, Venturi mask can be ideal for delivering low concentrations of oxygen to COPD patients. If you want to change the level of oxygen, then you'll need to change the adapters, which are in different colors. Depending on the venturi valve or the adapter, the patient can receive 24 to 60 percent oxygen. Make sure that the air entrapment ports are not occluded. Trait collar. O2 flow rate anywhere from 8 to 10 liters. Some O2 is lost to the atmosphere. If more O2 is needed, then a venturi device can be attached to deliver exact amounts. The trait collar provides good FiO2, provides good humidity, and is comfortable. The humidification is required, so check the distal tubing for condensation. T-piece. This is used on the end of an ET tube when weaning from a ventilator. Provides good FiO2, provides good humidity, and can have a ventilator and an inline catheter attached for suctioning. The T-bar, or the T-piece, can disconnect easier so the patient has to be monitored closely.